led her to step without us stepping, right? I step with her, I step with her, I don't step with her. And then once we stopped her, we learned how to stop her. And then so the foot we're 50-50. Again, I'm not all the way back, I'm not all the way forward. He stopped me in the middle. 50-50, the foot. Eventually, most of us do that at the same time. Eventually, yeah. most of us, we do in slow motion, most of us stop her and do the foot. Whoa, that's kind of loud. That's a loud one, <laughs> right? So most of us do stopping the foot at the same time. But what this is not stopping her. It's still this. The embrace. It's the embrace, right? But it looks like at the same time. Bump, sandwich her together. Same thing, when I step, <coughs> when I step back, I bring her with me. I'll bring her with me. So again, ladies, we do the same little house, the top of the house that he does, the sandwich. Oh. Then we go over the Forward foot. ocho. Forward ocho. And then when we added the little sundial drag, everything is the same. Boom, I lead her, right? Then the foot. Step. Again, you want to try to step somewhat equal. Try not to go away from her, right? An equal lateral triangle. And again, don't forget, guys, the key is that foot needs to point the direction of the, of the drag. So if I do this, one, it doesn't look great, but you're going to run into your own foot. So point the foot, bump, and then you finish with the sandwich. So for the ladies, again, this is what we call the sundial because, again, we keep both legs together. There's not flexible, not like the other drags that we have. So from here, my leg, my free leg stays straight. So whenever he leads me around... We're going all the way. Most of the time is kind of like 90 degrees yeah. to it. Yeah, but we're going to keep those two legs together. So if you